Today, I'm going to show you how to replace a carrier unit. I don't know if you have this model, but it's pretty much one of those big units in my garage. The fan inside is not spinning. Everything works. The outside unit works. That's tested. The heater works, which is on top, but the fan that suctions the air through the house into the unit and then out to the vent out there that goes through the whole ceiling and every room is no longer spinning. This unit is only, uh, as you can see, April 16. Not even that old. And the fan already quit. So we're gonna take the last screw, eight millimeters on mine. Some of them might be different, some are not. I wouldn't do it with a drill. It will strip the wire, the holes, and then you, the screws will be useless. So now we take this cover out, and voila. We're gonna take those screws four screws up here and this whole thing is going to come out that's the pretty much the um, unit the fan modules right here this little part we're going to change you don't have to replace the engine you don't have I mean the uh, motor you don't have to replace the fan blades none of that stuff and you don't have to touch anything up here my recommendation is pretty much unplug here this big cable you just pull there's no clip holding it so it's easy to pull out there should be a green a yellow a black and a brown uh, the brown is usually your 24 volts that comes from that little transformer back there in the corner right there uh, then you have uh, your blue or take a picture of that so you remember where it goes and then once you release the harness get it out of the way somewhere up here and you're gonna be free now remember you have to take this one two three four and this whole thing will slide out like okay so I already took this one out this bracket out we have the last screw here here's uh, something manual that you can uh, loosen up they're very easy to get out I'm not going to be too tight. We don't need to special tools and all that stuff. Uh, you might need just an 8 millimeter socket on this one. But uh, who doesn't have one of those at home, right? Once that's out, it should be coming out very fast, very soon. There you go. It's on the wire. It ain't going nowhere. Sit on the wire right here. Just make sure it's all the way in so it doesn't fall in. That's the bracket. And now, all you have to do, that's that bracket for now here. All you have to do is pull this whole unit out. You see it it's attached by two lips here and those two lips is what holds it on here so pull it out and that's why you have left the coil and the hole that it goes in now I'm gonna put it It probably weighs about 40 pounds. We're gonna take this out. This is a M19. You only have to get these two screws out because the module is just a little piece. It only holds about this much. It doesn't go through like most of the times. You can use a Torx bit, uh, you know, the Torx bit um, tool. It's pretty much the same size of a bolt or torch bolt very easy 
this is what controls the whole motor. The new units uh, do this now. They trying to make it simple, I guess. They don't have the big capacitors anymore. There's a screw about about two and a half inches. It doesn't go through the whole motor, even though the motor is deeper. You don't have to touch the blade. You just got to do this. Remember, we already disconnected the other part. Lift this up, and voila! I have capacitor, capacitor, and the clip. They actually uh, sets up motor. The motor is in excellent conditions because uh, spins, not jam. You see it, and we had already tested it before. We're waiting for the unit to, to arrive, which is local here in us. And this is the module unit that needs to be replaced. These are all the pins. Uh, and this one is a Endura M115. I'm going to go get the new one there. We already tested with a meter here. You can test it with a meter and Make sure that when you spin it, there should be voltage coming out of it. That's, we can do that now if you want. If you want to see it how it works. That's just to show you that the brushless motor has voltage. Motors by itself can generate motors, uh, motor, I'm sorry, voltage, since they are magnetically induced. So if you spin here, if you look at the meter here, as soon as you spin it, you'll see voltage. See that? And that's just with between the red and blue. So now we're going to do black and red. I mean black and uh, blue. Let's try that again. Center. See the voltage? That's because it's generating movement. So right. get the unit and I'll be right. So this is the new model. This is made this year apparently, a couple of months ago. This is the old one, this is the new one. Uh, we need to uh, install. So you don't need to use the same bed unless you want to. I would just keep them. Uh, this is the new unit, the old unit. They're pretty similar, nothing different. Even the wire colors are the same. It was shinier. But whatever. Same thing. Remember, you're going to plug it in. I only plug it in one way, so you can't go wrong. One of them is uh, not circular all the way. If you look at the floor, it, it will go here. So you can't make a mistake if you've never done this before. This is for the people that have never done it before. Make sure they're locked in. It has a pin. In it. And you're going to sit it right exactly the same way. Remember, it has a pin there. Make sure it slides right there. Like I'm putting it in. It should slide. And sit tight. Make sure it's all the same is perfect. Just to make sure. If you want to take a look again to the wiring, see the wiring there? by getting them out of the way a little bit if you want but at the end yeah, it's pretty much simple installation put that back in there Get the wires let's check the wires make sure they're not pinched you want to be very careful if anything in second screen goes back in they might look a little different but count is that labels should match and this one has an extra label obviously for new descriptions now one thing I did not know this unit is three years old uh, carrier gives you 10 years in parts and the whole unit 
So if anything's wrong, you have 10 years with carrier. Second thing is, whoever installed it usually does it. Whoever buys the unit, they buy it in an account and they are the ones literally who directly uh, deals with the carrier. You, as a regular uh, civilian, let's put it that way, for some reason don't have access to buy anything of this. Which I think is stupid if you're just buying it. Only air conditioning guys can buy at a certain price. And they don't, you can't even buy this stupid unit even though it's just a motor. I understand this and all the parts, but for this thing, you can buy it on eBay. But the thing is that if you buy it on eBay, if it burns, you have no warranties. This already has warranty, especially since the year and this, it's, you know, local. It's on the box. So keep your box, keep your old unit. And then if anything happens, it's 10 years within that date. Doesn't matter, it keeps moving on. Uh, second thing is um, now it's done that's all it took this is this is gonna save you at least 500 bucks in labor uh, it only takes it's just if you're gonna spend five hundred dollars in, in tools let's put it that way this is the thing in there let's just double check make sure there's nothing unusual so anyways if you're gonna buy if you're gonna spend five hundred dollars to pay somebody to do it, and you want to do it for yourself, guess what? Spending five hundred dollars in tools will be a lot of money and a lot of tools. But at the end, you keep the tools. <laughs> you can't keep the service guy. That's all it is. Voila! Right back on. Now, before I put this. Uh, I had to ground ground it anyway, so I'm just gonna put a couple of screws to ground it. Um, the motor, especially, it has ground anyways on the uh, motor directly. One of the one of the let's go over there, this. one of the um, the wires that I showed you before. This particular harness has a green wire with yellow. This is usually your ground. What I mean ground is like not like a car ground, but like a earth ground, outside pipes ground to the unit so it doesn't, you know. If the lightning hits, it's a little bit protected, not all the way, but it will be protected. So that's a certain point. If it uh, makes noises, which is RF, because motors do tend to have to make noises, well, uh, obviously, this one, by the way, if you look at this, it doesn't have anything, and that's exactly where it goes, so you can't fail. It's a dummy test. This one was on number, let's see, five, one, two, three, four, four, actually, and then this one was over here, in the middle. This is low, I don't know if you see there, but low. Medium and high. You should keep it in the middle. That's where it comes from. Make sure your wires are not touching anything. Keep the wires clear. I'm gonna put a zip tie when I'm done, obviously. And we can test it now. Turn the breaker on. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the fan on. Once this unit comes in, I'm gonna put it on. On. Oh, it has to blink actually. And uh, off on. You just give it a minute. There it is. Full speed. It worked. It's alive. With this, now you have to put the screws back, the cover up, cover it on, and then you're good to go. This is the fan that will suck all the air out of your house and will go through the coil which is underneath. The air will go up into it there. It will blow right back up into the house and it does this cycle. This motor costs $500. That unit costs $300. But because it's a warranty, I only had to put, pay the exchange, which is 80 bucks. Not even buy on eBay. They're going to cost you like 200 bucks. Try to talk. If you have this carrier unit, make sure you have all your receipts, all your contacts, and everything. If you have anything, write it on the panel. 
lose because you will lose it or inside if anything I uh, just gotta finish doing that and then uh, you're good to go and that's a uh, you know, that's a big saving for you uh, remember this is a carrier and this is the model number if you want to see there a little deeper um, it's only three year old unit and uh, seems like these motors are coming on those and for what my uh, friend told me because my friend is the uh, air conditioning guy he told me that these these modules alone are starting to quit looks like this is a defective product with the company that makes the motors you're gonna hear a lot of comments it doesn't matter what anybody tells you it's the statistics is that he's telling me he's been changing this the whole year it's the motor quality there suck I think they're made by GE as far as I know but you never know if you can find an extra unit like that brand new buy it and keep it for the length of the air conditioning because if it quits one day it's three hundred dollars <laughs> if you have to change the whole motor it's five hundred bucks and plus the labor it will maybe another three hundred bucks so you look at about eight hundred nine hundred dollars service for that particular module it's ridiculous so if you have an extra module you know how to do it yourself uh, so there you go if you have any comments put it below if you uh, want to share this to somebody they might have the same unit or even by the way this doesn't only work on carrier this particular motor right here it's in most of the new units as far as he says is that most brand new units are coming with this type of motor they don't have those big capacitors anymore it's all controlled digital almost uh, it's just by a signal once the signal comes in the whole thing comes on he said is the moisture I don't think it's moisture in there even though you know it could be but um, I see a little bit of moisture here Build up more like dusty motion. Motion and wires. That's motion marks. And I see some right here. See that? So that's a good Get a piece of paper there and wipe it off. Don't let go of the paper, <laughs> obviously. You don't want the air to suck it in. And yeah, I don't have a air paper, paper stuck somewhere. Uh, I've been doing all this kind of stuff for years, so nothing new to me. So there's the moisture right there. Black moisture inside the unit. It's recommended that you uh, have some guy come over and inspect it and clean it up and make sure there's no moisture in there also. But uh, now, turn it off. And that's it. You're good to go.